Hey everybody, it's me Reality here again, and it's been a few days since I've gotten Blackheart, but I finally have some time while well, it's actual daylight outside so I can do an unboxing for her finally. Also, today just happens to be my birthday, so happy birthday to me. Woohoo! Uh, because of that, my phone's in airplane mode because you know how Facebook notifications go on your birthday. But anyways, you, as you can see, I have Purple Heart out today just because it's a neptunia type of day and there's always going to be the inevitable well what's black heart look like with wings purple heart and we'll find out um i have read lots of comments about noir being a pain to assemble and get her wings in and br people breaking wings so i do have a bowl of pretty hot water next to me and i'll be careful uh I do plan on doing as much assembly as I can on camera for you guys, but if it starts getting tedious or difficult, I will probably pause the video just so I can concentrate and hopefully not break her. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get Neptune out of the way. She'll make an appearance later. And let's look at Blackheart. So, as I've said before, and as you can see, this is Blackheart, who's also known as Noir. Uh, she is from the Hyperdimension Neptunia universe. Uh, this figure is actually from the anime, the animation. Uh, she was manufactured by Alter and is a 1 7th scale. She was released November 6th of 2015. And I paid uh, 13,810 yen for her from AmiAmi. I when I look there now, she's more expensive, uh, so I'm glad I got her when I did. Uh, so here's the box, the front of the box, and there is the side of the box, and there is the back of the box, and the other side, and the top, and the bottom. So, the reason I decided to get Noir, uh, or Blackheart, honestly, she's not my favorite CPU. I, I don't really care much for the design. But, I am absolutely in love with Hyperdimension Neptunia. And Noir is my favorite non-CPU. I actually have another figure of her from Broccoli on pre-order. But that's, it may come out this month, it may come out next month. It depends on which store you're looking at and everything, so it's a mess. Uh, but, like I said, I love Neptunia. I love Noir, not necessarily Blackheart. And I thought to myself, Neptune Purpleheart, after she came out, her price skyrocketed. And she became super rare. I didn't want that to happen with this one for me, so I picked her up. So uh, let's go ahead and get her open. So this is a very large box. I'm assuming it's because of the action-y type pose that Blackheart is in. Go ahead and get it open. And there is instructions. The inside is just like gradient blue with squares and dots and stuff like that. Nothing real exciting. Let's try to get this out of the way. So there she is in her blister packaging. 
There are two separate blisters, one for her and some accessories, and then one for wings and swords. Uh, there's the side. There's the back. So the what people are having the most problems with are these two. There's little tabs that you have to peg in or slot into her hair. And they're having a lot of dif difficulty with that. There's the back, or other side, and back to the front. And then we'll go ahead and separate the blister so you can kind of see the sword and stuff a little bit better. Um, Alter does know that the wings are a pain. They posted a blog saying that it's most likely due to the cold weather and everything. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but Milo just jumped up in the back, so he does still make appearances. So yeah, there's the two different blisters. So let's go ahead and get these open. Wait, what the, what the heck is that? Hold on guys, I think uh, Stella wants me. I'll be right back. God damn it, Stella, stop dying! Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Stella kept dying in the dungeon, so I had to go re-equip her and send her back out. Hopefully she'll recover the lost uh, scout. <laughs> so anyways, let's go ahead and start getting this stuff open. Uh, so let's see, the blister packaging. It's got a flat panel on the front. And just a bunch of tape. Okay, I managed to get that off without pieces flying everywhere. So, here is Blackheart's sword. So unlike uh, Purpleheart, she is has a separate handpiece that's holding the sword, and then there's a separate one on her body right now. Uh, with Neptune, she the sword was a separate piece, and you had to peel her fingers back. So the edge is kind of sharp. The corners are really pointy. And it does have quite a bit of heft to it. It's thicker, and it's got, like, translucent plastic around the blades, unlike Neptune's. Uh, we'll go ahead and stick that back in there for now. These are the little jet boosters, or whatever you want to call them, for her feet. One goes in one foot, one goes in the other foot, different angles and stuff. Woohoo. And then here are two wings. Woohoo. So these are made out of clear plastic, but there's a lot of paint on them, so you can't really see through them. That's one thing I like about Neptune's, or Wings Purple Hearts stuff better, is I like her wings better. And then here's these two wings. So this one has a peg on its side right there. All the other ones have the little tabs, and like I said, that's what people are having a conniption fit about, trying to get the figure assembled. So we'll see how that goes. And then we'll go ahead and get Noir's blister packaging open. I, I usually call them by their non-CPU names because, I'm sorry, Black Heart, Purple Heart, Green Heart, White Heart, that's kind of generic and boring. Noir, Bear, Blong, and Neptune, that's a lot better. It seems more like a real name to me, I should say. Definitely didn't want it moving around. The blister packaging is like very solid. 
Okay, so in here we've got her base. There are two metal pegs to hold her foot since that's all that's supporting her. We'll see how it looks next to Neptune. I really do like the crotch levitation wing did. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just putting everything back in because it, it'll make it easier to see what I'm doing with the instructions. Uh, so here are her hair pieces, her head pieces. Once again, little plastic rods to stick into her head. I'll put those back in here. Maybe. And then over here we've got two little rods for her, uh, for the, like around her waist, she's got the like speakers or something floating. And those hold those up. Not a big fan of the rods, but I mean, they are what they are. These are the little speaker pieces I was talking about. At least I think they're supposed to be speakers. I don't really know. Don't usually see her with like the full processor in it. And then, the piece de resistance. There is black cart. Woohoo! She's finally out of the box. Usually I unbox a figure the same day I get them. But because of issues and lighting and I had to take Milo to the vet, she had to sit for a while. And then there's a little piece of plastic holding her hand. And that goes like that. I think that's all the plastic off of her. So there's the booty slash cross shot. And a lot of people this is like their figure of the year, aside from the whole issue with the zooming on her face. Yeah, aside with the issue of the assembly. So like right here is one of the slots in her hair that you have to put the wing into. And then there's another one right there. And then I think, yeah, there's like a peg right there. And then one more somewhere right there. So it's going to be a pain. Like I said, I'll try to do it on camera, but I'll, I may have to pause. So let's go and start with the wings because that's the first thing in the instructions and that's what everyone has problems with. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at the instructions and find out which one is what. Okay, so the one with the peg on the side is number 9. Uh, the one with the peg on the, or the slot on the top is number 10. And then this one with it on the slant is number 11. And then this one with the pet slot on the bottom is number 12. So it says, from looking at her at the back, it goes 9, 10, 11, 12. So I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but we'll see. So it goes kind of like this. Yeah, this is going to be tedious and a pain because you have to get it between the hair and angle just right. I'm actually going to take my glasses off because I can see up close better without them. So, it's supposed to go kind of like this. Yeah, this, this isn't the funnest thing. Okay, so that one's in. I may not push them in all the way. Uh, so next we'll do number 10. This one a lot of people have said they have broken. 
So it goes down like that, and it goes... Where is it? Right there under her arm. I also, looking at the slot, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but there's like a little lip at the end of it. So once you get it in, it most likely is not meant to ever come out again. And I mean, I'm going to leave the camera running, but I may just cut it in editing because she will have some editing. So maybe if I make the hair go down, it's very difficult because you can't see what you're doing. And the hair is messed up and I keep thinking I'm going to poke my eye out. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, it wasn't too bad, but, yeah, it's you need to concentrate on what you're doing. And just looking at the wings, I kind of don't like how these two are at different angles. But, I mean, looking at the instructions, that's how they're supposed to be in. So the trick is to actually put your finger behind the joint and then pull back on the hair so the joint the hole kind of like opens up a little bit and then you can get the pe the peg in once again i think alter really could have done a much better job with the w hair the wing attachment but i'm not planning on ever taking them off so yay so the next part of the assembly according to the instructions is to put the feet pieces in. So, according to the instructions, where are the feet pieces? The one with the... Oh, they're both coming out in the same place. Never mind. So they're both number 13. So one goes in the back of her heel here. sun's coming out so it's starting to be a pain and then one in the other heel and one went in a little bit easier so there they are woohoo so now the next step is get her on the base good I don't I'm tired of holding her so foot just pegs into the pegs and there she is supported by the base and then it says to put the little hair pieces in her hair. So once again, looking at the instructions. So the little screw, screw faces are the front. So this, this one is number three and this one's number four. So number three goes on my left, her right. And number four goes on my right, her left. They just go into holes on her head. And then it says to put the little waist speaker pieces on. So, the little rods. And we're done with this blister. So you can tell the difference between these from where the holes are. One has the hole down here, one has the hole up here. The one with it on the bottom is number five. The one with it on top is number six. And then the rods are slightly different as well. 
the taller one is number eight and the shorter one is number seven. So number seven, the shorter one, goes in number five, the one with the hole on the bottom. And then number eight, the taller one, goes in number six, the one with the hole on the top. And then they go like this, bottom, top, over into the holes on the base. And they're kind of fl shaky, flimsy, whatever you want to call them. I wouldn't put much pressure on those holes. And now, there's really only one thing that's left, and that is her sword. I will be displaying her with the sword, I think. So, get this blister out of the way. So, to do the sword, you go and you take her hand off, and you put her other hand on. And the sword kind of sticks out to the side. Get them lined up. Come on. Ow. So, little pieces on her wrist, they're sharp. They hurt. So don't push on them. You got to just get, get it twisted just right. And then the hand goes on, you have to push it, and then it be at first it's loose, then it becomes tight. That's what she said. <laughs> so just to show the hand off a little bit. Come on. Trying to block the late sunbeam. Got little piece, white p pieces on her knuckles. It would hurt a lot if she punched you. So we'll put that off to the side. And there is Blackheart all assembled. So she's got a nifty base. Um, looking at it, I do like Purple Heart's suspended support. This kind of just looks a little strange with the little black piece. But, I mean, Alter knows what they're doing. She shouldn't fall over. She should be pretty, yeah. Except for these pieces, she's pretty stable. Let's go ahead and do a spin around of her. You can see the these two top two wings came attached already. One says Blackheart and one says Noir. And then her shoulder pieces were already attached as well. And they've got some clear plastic in there. Yeah, this one wing just, it doesn't look like it's angled right, but that's how I, the only way I could get it go, to go in. And according to the instructions, that's how it's supposed to be. So maybe it's this piece that's not angled right, but like I said, according to the instructions, that's how it's supposed to be. And her sword does stick out quite far, so I have seen pictures, she does fit in a detolf, but... Pretty much you have to put her smack dab in the center because the wings stick out to the side and the sword sticks out to the side. Now, let's do a goddess comparison, or a CPU comparison. So these are both 1-7 scale figures. Get them both in the frame. Um, so looking at them, Blackheart actually does seem a little larger, at least in the face. It's more rounded, while uh, Purple Hearts is more angular, it looks like. And uh, Blackheart, her s skin tone is like redder, while Neptune's is more light white. Um... The base is Neptune's is definitely bigger, and it's got the hyperdimension Neptunia N. Uh, Noir's has a like technology circle design, which is kind of cool. 
I like uh, Purple Hearts Wings better, but I think I've already said that. But yeah, I mean, they go together. They're best friends, even though Noir, the running joke is she doesn't have any friends because she's a workaholic. Let's go ahead and do a spin around of both of them. Yeah, their, their pointy pieces stick out so far, it's hard to get them close. So there's the side view. Uh, Noir's sword is definitely bigger than Neptune's, even though they're they're about the same length, it looks like, but it's wider and thicker. So there's the back, the booty shots. Can't really see Neptune's booty because of her support stand. And then back to the side, have to take them, separate them because the sword just sticks out so far. So there's their sides. And back to the front. So I'll have to experiment with the detail situation. They may just get their own shelves. Or they may fit like this on one shelf. I'll have to, ex like I said, I have to experiment and see. But honestly, I think they deserve their own shelf. <laughs> Neptunia is one of my favorite animations. I, I, I bought Rebirth 3, so I'm playing that. I mean, I haven't bought a game since Portal 2. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I know Blackheart is a lot of people's favorite, and they were really waiting and excited for this figure. And it was manufactured by Alter. So you know the qualities there. Um... Alter is making a, another Purple Heart. At least they have it announced, which they announced like a year ago, but they haven't done a prototype of it yet. So I'm guessing when that comes out, I'll get it too, because she's my favorite. <laughs> but anyways, this it was the unboxing and assembly for Blackheart, also known as Noir. She's from the Hyper Dimension Neptunia universe, the Hyper Dimensions, Ultra Dimensions, whatever. This one is actually from the anime. So in the anime, she doesn't have all the extra processor pieces. <laughs> just, just saying. Uh, she's manufactured by Alter. is a one eighth scale fig or one seventh scale figure. Sorry about that. And she was released November sixth of two thousand and fifteen. And I paid. 13,810 yen from AmiAmi. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Bye-bye.